this is Lake Nipissing. It's a lookout up on Highway 17 in between North Bay and Sturgeon Falls. The lake is about 40 kilometers long, maybe a bit more. And as you can see, it has quite a few houses. These are houses, not cottages. They rely on the water source from Lake Nipissing, although it comes through the ground, to replenish. Well, basically to keep them alive. Now, way over there, that whole section is called Joggle Point. There's approximately 500 to 600 homes on Joggle Point. Uh, they are homes, not cottages. They're lived in year-round. They rely on the water from Lake Nipissing as well, even though it does come through the ground. Now, um, this is Nipissing First Nation. Right? The water, uh, if you believe in your Anacuchi, the natives own the water, but no, it's owned by the federal government. They have no rights to it, but this is where they do their gill netting. They take out several hundred fish a day. Now, if you go down this way, don't mind my stumbling around. Down in that corner there, you go downhill, and there's um, um, Makwamikan, which is bear, bear Trail, or Bear Road. That's where the dump is. The dump is less than a kilometer from Lake Nipissing. There are no berms built up to stop the uh, leachate from running from the dump down into the lake. And as it goes down through there, it's got to go down and down and down into the swamp section. It's not much of a swamp section. And then you get to the houses. So all that leachate is going into the swamp and then into the lake. Now, to get through, it's got to cross over uh, two railways. One is active, the other one is inactive. Uh, water gets dammed up behind each rail quite well. So guess where the leachate is settling? It's settling in there. And these people, their groundwater, is getting contaminated with leachate. Another wonderful thing the Nipissing First Nation is doing. Contaminating their drinking water and contaminating Lake Nipissing. More to come later. There's the dump. And as you can see, it's not too far from the lake. It goes right down into all that swamp area, into everybody's uh, well water. You gotta love Nipissing First Nation. They have no laws to follow, no rules governing them about what they put into the lake.